people, my people, it's a banging day in Melbourne. Look at this <coughs> sorry, weather. It's bright, it's sunny, and it's just glorious gin drinking weather. We're finally having it. And today, we're gonna go up to the northern suburbs of uh, Reservoir to interview um, the mines. So, I've arrived safely in uh, the wilds of um, Reservoir, and I'm about to barrel in. I mean, Gagandy, the uh, only Australian distiller making this sort of stuff. Let's go and have a chat to the man and find out the why, the when, the how, and the what's going to happen. So I've travelled the uh, the deep, darkest wild reservoir, and of course forgot my microphone. As you do, um, I'm here with my new friend Gagandy, the the mind, the brains, the masterpiece. Okay, dude, pause. I've just realised that's showing up in the mirror. That's fine. Because we do it raw, honest, this is us. And that's the reason why it's going to work. So, Gagandi is the genius behind Yara Distillery. Now, my understanding is that you've got Yara, the little brown thing that runs through Melbourne, but Yara actually means something different in Punjabi, yes? yes. Even if the name is... Smile to you, smile to you. Hi, hi. Oh, hi. Hey, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, the, even the name itself, if you look at the, the spellings, it's uh, Y-A-A-R-A. But the Yarra River, Yarra Rangus, it's Y-A-A-R-A. Mm -hmm. And I did think about keeping the same spellings, but Yarra is uh, an Aboriginal word. And given the, uh, the kind of uh, history that our Aboriginal people, uh, the, the natives, they have brought with alcohol, I did not want to disrespect it. And that touches nicely on what I named this distillery before Yara. So I called it Nam, N W A R N. Now this is the old Melbourne. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, I try to get blessings from the elders here, but people would say that they really appreciate it, but nobody will give it to me in writing. Ah. So I did not want to be called out on it, so I changed it to Yara, and when I researched into Yara, I came, it turned out to be an Aboriginal land, and then I was like, okay, this is for friends, and uh, this is uh, this is a hobby turned into uh, side hustle. So, yeah, and hence the name Yara, so, yeah, so Yara means friendship, or oh, Yara means friend, Yara means friendship in Punjabi, and even in, like, uh, Hindi or Hindi language. Because we, um, we may have noticed that in a distillery industry that's, dare I say, pretty damn white bread, um, you're not. You're, you're Indian from the Punjab. Yep. So, and that's incredibly important because we want to see and support the multiculturalism that is here in Australia. I mean, we, we, we speak five languages in our house. Yeah. So we've got, have, we've got to have more than truly tripped over the multicultural budget. Mm -hmm. I'm more than it's the multicultural field. Cool. So, what makes a nice Indian boy like you, who by your accent was raised locally? Uh, I came here when I was 17. I, I celebrated my 18th birthday here after a month, I, after a month when I was here. So, yeah. Nice. Uh, August 25th. Ah, okay. So you were an Indian boy, you came here at 17, 18. You did university here, I imagine. Yep. In what? Uh, accounting. Okay. Okay, so that's a pretty far fetch from what the current, mm. what the current passion slash side hustle that yeah. you've identified. Mm. So what, what I could say is, to two people who aren't accountants, um, I can understand the reason why becoming an accountant would drive you to drink, <laughs> but <laughs> they came down to what drove you to this thing. It's probably an articulation of it because, uh, uh, like, when. I did not even have an idea that I would be still in someday. I have always been a very enthusiastic drinker. So I have tasted uh, almost, not after 2015, but before 2015, all the spirits that fell under the thousand dollars range. So I have literally tasted everything that I could get my hands on. And my friends and people who know me, they used to call me asking, okay, we are going over to a, a, a friend's place for dinner, and uh, what gift should we take for them? So that only meant that we wanted a bottle of whiskey, but which one should we take? And uh, so I used to ask him, okay, 
So what's the dinner like? Where are you going? And what are you going to have? What's going to complement that? So I just used to tell them that what is going to bring out the best of both flavors and that this is what you should take and that this is a nice food. So, and yeah, and after that, um, I started YouTubing because um, I was very eager to learn more about it. I started following Jesse. Uh, I'm still at, in New Zealand and uh, watched almost all of his videos at least 10, 15 times. Um, yeah, and after that COVID hit, and, uh, oh sorry, before that, um, yeah, I took small online courses. And after that, when COVID hit, I started calling all the distilleries here. I literally called every single distillery in 75 kilometers away in this from my place. So that I called them, I was like, I'd like to come here and go voluntarily. If on the weekends, if, um, if you can have them. And um, yeah, they were like, no, sorry, we can't come because of work hour or whatever. Uh, on weekends, we've got uh, only the bar open or we, we don't just on weekends and uh, what else have we um, And uh, there was this one distillery. Uh, so I called him and he was like, uh, hey, I'm um, a bit busy at the moment. Call me back next week. Call him back next week. Hey, look, I'm in Tessie. So call me back after a month. I called him back after a month. He was like, hey, my arm's broken. Call me back in two weeks. Oh, no more. I called him back in two weeks. And he was like, uh, Okay, well, uh, we are based in um, um, Brunswick. Why don't you come in and see us tomorrow? And uh, it's like, I'm, I'm, oh, on Monday, uh, because this, this world is on Thursday. So it's like, uh, we are open from Monday to Thursday. Why don't you come in and see us on Monday? Like, I'm going to take the whole week off. I'm happy to come in and just uh, shadow you. It's like, that's okay, you don't have to. The free Monday coming, so I still took the whole week off. Um, <laughs> went there on Monday morning, yep. and uh, I was there at six, so the seven, sorry. So the master distiller was already there, and uh, the owner of the business, I went and saw him, and he was like, Hi, my name is Wayne, this is Vata, it's a gin company. Ah, yes. yes. And uh, yeah, so he was like, um, Shout out to Vata Gin Company, thank you so much for hosting, um, for hosting us when we were over for my 35th. You did a great job. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm seriously top people. Top people. Yeah, you, you want what when the brain surgeon or something like that, so you want something someone with a steady hand when you when you've got the scalpel going when you're doing the distilling. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad that he's uh, no longer uh, he doesn't no longer use the scalpels. Um, but uh, when he's pouring uh, drinks for me, uh, that's okay if he yeah, pours a little more at the moment. We picked up the gin slushy on the way out of the van, um, the right? Yeah, this is going to help me get out of the risk gate. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't driving. I must stress, I was not driving. I've been having panic attacks when it comes to using freeways and that, and I was driving, and I was sitting on the, um, the slushy to get me up and over the, over the risk gate while the friend drove. I'm like, good, well, you've got two hours to get me to drive over that thing. Having said that, yeah. having said that, given given that we have met the people as well, yeah, they are yeah, great. Right. Yeah. We're there for a distilling one. We walked in at nine o'clock in the morning. Um, distilling one image is, uh, imagery is still to come. <laughs> We're working on it. it don't just stop nagging us every six months. In case of please don't kill us, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we walked in at nine o'clock in the morning, and it, and Dave said that you you are just fired it up. But throughout the day, it's on different fingers and this and different fingers and that. After a while, I looked at is it just me or are you getting half and half? <laughs> and he went, yeah, it's one of the perils of the job because it's outside this as, as they do, you do the sentence, so I started out really rough and then by the end of the day, oh yeah, <laughs> just large cut. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, um, went and saw me. Yes. And uh, then he was like, with me today, he's a master distiller. So he distills uh, a lot of award winning gin and um, that was the start of it. The Angry Cup? Hey? The Angry Cup? Yes, I think so. Yes, and, uh, it, it is beautiful. their best known. Yeah. And I do agree with that, it is gorgeous. Yeah. And even though they're, um, uh, the, the cherry gin, um, it, it's beautiful as well. Mm. So, yeah. And so I stayed there for the day, and uh, I asked Dave, um, okay, do you want me to come in tomorrow? He was like, yeah, come in. When did the next day? Same thing, I uh, was there for the whole day. Third day when I, when I got there, I spent the day and he was like, um, Wayne wants to see you. 
I got that. Uh, I think that's it. So that's my last slide. And uh, thank you for coming in. But when I went and saw him, he was like, uh, they're really happy with your work. Uh, if you like to keep on coming in, uh, please come in. And I thought that I've got a full time job. So I can't. And I'm happy to come in on the weekends. He was like, uh, we are only, we only work from Monday to Thursday. You ha you're more than welcome to come in, but uh, we don't work on weekends, so we can't help you there. And he was like, but go and talk to Dave and see if you can work anything up. So I went down and uh, had a chat with Dave. So he, he asked me, like, what time do you start work? I was like, at 9, but uh, because of COVID, uh, distillery was still essential service. So you could go to the distillery, but um, yeah, we were working from home. So we used to have a daily, uh, just online call, asking everybody in the house if we doing, what we were for the day, and uh, such and so forth. Um, so yeah, that call started at 9 o'clock. So I used to go to the distillery at, uh, from 6 to 9, and we used to go drive back and put my phone on hands-free, and take the call in half an hour when I reach home, and uh, then I used to work. And uh, this actually went on for a year and a half. Uh, and they, they moved to Williamstown and they needed somebody to work full time and I couldn't. So, yeah, and um, then I started uh, contract distilling. So, I still made my, I, I was still distilling my own spirits because I was there, I was uh, part of the team. Um, but it was all coming under the banner of Bath uh, and Yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's how I started and uh, slowly. Um, a few, few months back, my dad came and he was like, he saw my, my 